Jesus walked in the fear of the Lord. Jesus is the son of God. He left behind his heavenly glory and he became a man. He walked the earth as a man. Uh, Jesus related with the Father intimately. We know that uh, Jesus constantly communed with the Father. He obeyed the Father. He submitted to the Father. But here's another thing that we read about Jesus. The fact that Jesus walked in the fear of the Lord. Hebrews 5 and verse 7. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears to him, who was able to save him from death, and was heard because of his godly fear. This godly fear instead, instead refers to the fact that Jesus loved, honored, uh, and he submitted to God willingly. He submitted to God, um, you know, without, without any resistance. Uh, he trusted in God and he rested in God. Uh, and, and, and that is why uh, we, we say that Jesus walked in the fear of the Lord. So this fear that we're talking about, you know, it's not really an emotion, but uh, it's an attitude. It's an attitude and it's the right attitude which Jesus had towards the Father. Now think about this. Jesus is the very Son of God and he is a member of the Trinity and he, he could behave whichever way he wanted but he came here to fulfill the plan of redemption uh, and he walked that path he never uh, uh, you know argued with the father he never tried to do his own thing but he was in complete obedience to the father he was in complete submission to the father he did uh, things in such a way that it would please the heart of God you remember the time where when the voice from heaven said this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Why well pleased? Because he lived a life which was honoring God uh, in everything. Now here um, is, is another scripture that talks about uh, the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 11 verse 2. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. One of the names of the Holy Spirit is the fear, the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. So Jesus walked in the fear of God uh, uh, and the Holy Spirit is called as the spirit of the fear of the Lord uh, and, and scripture uh, when, when we look at the lives of the people uh, who walked right before God, uh, we, we can learn, we can learn from, from them, from their example. We can learn from uh, our best example, who is Jesus Christ. Uh, but here, uh, scriptures also point out that we can get the help of the very Holy Spirit. You know, the same Spirit uh, who who worked with Jesus. We have the same Holy Spirit with us today, and He continues to be the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. And so, we too can relate with God, with the fear of God, doing the right thing, pleasing God, living a life which is honoring God in every sense and the Holy Spirit can enable us to do this. Now, there are many other uh, verses that, that talk about the fact that the fear of the Lord is, is, is not something that we have or we don't have but the fear of the Lord can be taught. The fear of the Lord can be learned and so each one of us can grow uh, in this right uh, attitude towards the Lord and live a life uh, which, which is pleasing before God and live a life of faith uh, and righteousness which blesses the heart of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you, God, for uh, redeeming us from, uh, Lord, uh, the work of the enemy. And God, you've given us a, a life to live as uh, victors. Father, I pray that each one of us, Lord, will walk with integrity, will walk with uh, the fear of God in every area of our lives. Lord, we know that even as we walk in your ways, O oh God, Lord, that we will prosper, that, Father, we will, uh, uh, Lord, uh, experience success. And so, God, I pray this day that, uh, Lord, your spirit, Lord, who is the spirit of fear of the Lord will, will uh, minister to each one of us, O oh God, and strengthen us, O oh God, in living right before you. Father, we give you the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.